G'day, this is Michael from O'Donnell's Aussie Homestead. I just thought I'd run through a few of the things I have on my farm. I haven't done it up till now and I thought I'd better start. Uh, okay, as you're aware, I have young cows. Not, <laughs> just mainly to go where uh, I can't put the, the goats. I can put it around the house yard or something like that or around the shed yard and they will eat all the um, grass without getting into eating my fruit trees. Um, the goats on the other hand, a little one here, this red Kalahari, they love eating all anything that I like. They eat the likes of um, fruit trees, they love passion fruit vines, they love mulberry vines, they, they love uh, the likes of you know, uh, um, what do you call it, um, oranges and lemons and limes and everything else like that. Um, what else? I have the likes of, I have one alpaca, I did have two, I, it, I lost one to a snake bite, I will get another one, it's, it's, it's okay when it runs with a herd, and the reason why I have a, a go, a go um, sorry, <laughs> a alpaca is that they are um, a guardian. They look, I let them run with the sheep um, when I had sheep and I had dorkers, but they, were, they drove me nuts. So I'm very flighty, uh, fast, uh, but they did eat the crap, which is great, but the roughage. But they um, were just not, not fun, but that's why, and then I changed over to the goats. They don't give me a drama to the extent of the others. Uh, they don't have the same foot rock problem, they don't have the same uh, worm problem uh, and as you're aware I do have other animals here. I do have the likes of um, my Brahma chickens uh, over here I have, you can see I have Australorps in this cage over here um, a nice moment for beef fowler in there because that's where the extra food is so if you see what I'm talking about here, um, there's, there's some guinea fowl in there and everything. Um, there's my uh, drake, um, uh, that turkey there, that's the female. I did have quite a few turkeys, but I decided to go back to two. I might go back up to three, I don't know yet. Um, next, uh, I have, I'll go have to go through this yard here to do this and uh, we'll see how we go opening the gate at the same time as talking to you. I do have my, I do have my uh, quail, uh, young quail in here. They, um, no, still not laying yet, they're getting close. Uh, over here, I have um, a few more quail. Here. Now, I'm going to take you through now to look at um, my peacock. Poor thing, I only have one peacock, but I will be upping that to the likes of two when I can find a, a girl for her, him. There he is here now. There you go. Now you can have a peck at me now, can't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, probably because he's locked up all the time, he's probably a little bit annoyed. Yeah, um, see, I've got a, I have a fair bit of bush along the side of my place, which is great. I do get a lot of interesting birds come here, mainly black cockatoos, and uh, that's fantastic. I mean, love them. Uh, we get a few other types of corellas and um, uh, white cockatoos, occasional galah or parrots, there's parrots nesting in trees nearby, but black cockatoos are the one I like the most. Uh, you should see when they grab hold of a branch and they want to destroy it, what do we do? <laughs> Quite an interesting thing that is. Um, I'll take you down now and show you uh, just a quick run past my pigs. In this sort of heat of the day, uh, you'll find that you're probably having a siesta. Um, no, oh, not, not all. Voldemort is my uh, my big boar. 
He's over there. Voldemort! 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 Mm, he's over here. Voldemort! He's in over there. He's not going to come out. He's he's having a... Uh, I guess... Oh! Here we go. He's, he's, he's starting to rustle. He might come out. Voldemort! Oh, well, he'll probably come down when she... As she's over here waiting for food. Only fed her 15 minutes ago. Uh, this is this is Emma Watson. Say hello, Emma. Uh, Emma, Emma, Emma. Uh, she's a beautiful one. And her little piglets, about nine of them, um, are uh, at the moment aren't available. They are they're all having a nap. Uh, the top top end of my property here. Uh, that's where I have a lot more uh, goats. Uh, these are a couple of my uh, calves. I keep them here mainly to uh, to eat the grass where the, I don't want the goats going. And because uh, goats can be pretty hard on your um, plants. And I can put them around the house yard, these couple of calves, and uh, it'll, more of a cabin really. Just what I do, keep, do a bit of book work and that. And as you can see here, this is it in here. The grass needs a bit, a bit of mowing again, so I'll be putting the goats in here. Uh, not the goats, sorry, the um, calves. Because see, these fruit trees, they would love them. And uh, if you've got goats, they are fun, they're all friendly, they, they like to get all, get all up in your face. But the, uh, the big problem with goats is you can't keep anything you want. Now, here's some passion fruit vines here. Um, and look at them. They destroyed everything on this side of the fence. They'd rather eat your, you know, your vines and all your things you want before they'll even eat the grass. That's, that's the way they run. Anyway, that's uh, a few of the animals. They've got a, it's a big weather over there. Now, you might think this is a little strange. See this goose here? It was a rescue. Fox has killed all its little, uh, uh, all her, all his harem. And uh, so now he's lonely and he's imprinted on this, uh, this region here. And so wherever it goes, he goes. And uh, that's, they're quite a pair. She'll, and when anyone else doesn't know him, uh, and they come close, he'll start getting very protective. Even with me, yeah. <laughs> oh, what, a, what a funny, funny, funny friendship. If for some reason doesn't care about the little um, the little steer, he just has a real thing for the. Oh, it's interesting. That's a steer. This one here now is a little heifer, and uh, he's a, a goose, uh, actually a gander. So he's a male, and he found himself a female. <laughs> you gotta wonder, don't you? He, um, I've just been thinking I might show you my Muscovy duck. Uh, ducks. They um, only a new addition. I've had them for maybe six to eight weeks. Um, I did buy a, a quite a few in the beginning, uh, but then I cut back to about seven. I have one drake and um, a bunch of hens. I don't know what we call them, but anyway, we'll get there. Uh, I did lay had laying laying eggs in the beginning, but when I had too many drakes. Uh, put them off the lay, so I cut back to only one. Uh, what I'd like to do now is just show you, um, show you a few. What's going on here? Oh yes. Anyway, um, I will uh, attempt to show you my drakes now and ducks. Uh, this is the pen here. I keep my um, ducks in. They're Muscovy. As I probably said, they the good thing about Muscovy ducks, uh, 
the best thing about Muscovy is that they um, lay regularly and they go on the brood too and, and they sit very well. They're good mums. Uh, yeah, of all, the, all of them, they would be the best for that type of thing. Um, I uh, kept them because I figured uh, it would be nice to have a, a duck egg to eat. Um, the, the thing about ducks, especially Muscovy, they don't really need a lot of water. They mainly need water to wash out their nostrils. So uh, what happens with them is that um, their nostrils, when, when they eat, gets full of garbage. So they've got to be able to duck their head in the water and, and rinse it all out. Uh, as you can probably look at that water there, look at the colour of it now. Uh, it's the colour of the grain um, because they've been um, washing out their nostrils. Oh, here's my uh, peacock here. He's, he does, he does, uh, <laughs> he's a funny one. If I uh, go up to the cage, he bites me. Oh, I'll show you. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. But, if I go in a cage, he runs away. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll show you again. If with, uh, with the likes of my Muscovy, if you're looking for action, you don't get them. <laughs> don't get it. <laughs> they waddle, they don't run. Uh, they just like laying eggs. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, I have rabbits. I even forget. I, okay, I just did a um, few things on them, but I'll just take you in and introduce you to my little family. Uh, here they are here. I have them in cages, mainly because it's easier to look after them. Um, and also, it's, uh, the wire cages are better than wood cages. People think wood cages would be better, but it's not gives them a hard time. I'm just shaking you in to show you the little little sweethearts. And mummy here. Uh, because rabbits have claws and, and you imagine putting their feet on a, a ground like I'll show you. If you put your if they've got claws and you put them on a wood, their claws are like this. But here they can put their toes through and their feet sit normally. Would you rather have your foot like this? Or your foot like that so uh, that's the simplest way to put it it makes them uh, a little bit more comfortable uh, and here's another one here uh, look I wasn't sure if she was pregnant or not I'm not very good at testing you know you can actually feel and tell so what I did um, is that I put a board in there so if she does have them on the wire the babies it at least, because every time I put a nest in there, she'd tear it apart. So I put a board in there, and this way, if she goes and gets in there, and um, has, a, has a young, at least they're not on the wire, or they end up not on the wire. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Um, I did lose a lot a while ago, where they were born on the wire. They, and this is the sad part, I didn't realise. Um, like I said, they, a mother had two babies on the wire, I was three. And, I, and she tried to, you know, eat them because, uh, get rid of the bodies. Um, but she, she put it down, um, she had them down there and was like, I can't do them, they're all dead. And I was just devastated. And I said, oh, well, what can I do about it? Not many babies though. But see, rabbits can hold off their pregnancy. Um, or their birth too. Um, and she uh, turned around and the next night, she had the rest, and guess where she had them? On the wire. So that was really dis very disturbing. And I thought to myself, if I'd only realized, I should have put a box in straight away. And, uh, and you never know, it would have been all okay, maybe. Anyway, uh, here's a few more little bunnies. Here are a few more bunnies. Now the reason there's so many bunnies in this cage here, it's because these are still young. Uh, they can get along, and uh, I've, I, I, like I said in previous thing, uh, videos, I 
put the females here and the males there to, to cause less conflict. Only because I'm doing this with different breeds because they're all the same age and they don't give themselves any problem. Uh, or me any problem. Now you're probably wondering what all this black stuff is around here. Well, I used to have this cage out. I used to have this cage here out in the open. And it was a real problem when it came to uh, the likes of uh, mosquitoes. Now, uh, it, just in case other countries don't realise it, if I'm talking to other countries here, is that m mosquitoes in Australia really carry myxomatosis. And it's really nasty. I lost my first rabbit to myxomatosis. So I'm very paranoid about it. I don't want them just anybody just dying because of this. Um, so it's a nasty thing. They go blind and everything. So these little darlings here get protected by mosquito netting. Now, I, since I have um, put these cages in, I've then put this, I put this uh, rubber tree over the top, as you can see here. And when I did that, it meant I didn't have to worry so much about um, the mosquitoes. And so I started pulling it off. I haven't pulled it all off. I just pulled most of it. Um, I put shade cloth on the outside. It keeps a lot of the heat out. Still gets a little bit warm in here but not as bad as it would be anywhere else. Because what I've done, um, just I'll take you outside and show you. I've, um, I've, built, I've built this all under trees. You can see the trees behind me. So it's cool now here, right where I am now. And uh, after about midday, it starts to get cooler and cooler because of the shade, the shade of the trees. Uh, rabbits don't have a problem with uh, the likes of the cold as much as they do the heat. Because hey, you run around with a jumper on in the middle of summer. I see how you feel. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so that should cover it. Um, what was it? Was another animal I had I didn't forgot about? Yeah, I just remembered. There's another couple of animals to tell you about. Uh, here we go. My uh, son's girlfriend Sarah has uh, these African, I think, peach faces. I think they're called. Uh, these are very rare um, even though they look like a normal peach face whatever not peach face what are they well we'll get to that um, they um, they're, they're about the only ones in uh, in Australia actually uh, they bought them out of a zoo <laughs> anyway uh, next thing next thing I oh, we have uh, several dogs um, my son has a Mirama it's an Italian sheepdog, uh, and uh, if I get the, if it's at the moment he's got it out with him, um, and we have a couple of Chihuahuas. I'll call them rat dogs, but they're adorable. <laughs> uh, that's about that is about the size of it. So catcher. Anyway, I'll take you to see Ghost. Ghost, come here. This is Ghost. Ghost is a Marama, a, uh, a Italian sheepdog. You want to turn your head out, Ghost? Yeah. Now, isn't that a beautiful dog, eh? Have you seen a dog so pretty? I'll turn it around so I can, I can, you can see him better. The camera I'm talking about. Ghost. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, slow down, slow down. They're a beautiful dog. Not the most intelligent, probably because he's such a, he's still a pup. He's about, uh, how old's, how old's uh, Ghost now? Oh, he's a year and a half. He's just standing mature now. But, uh, he's a good boy. Ghost, come here. Yeah. You wonder why, why, why my son called him Ghost. I don't know. Hey. Hey ghost, what do you call? They like to get right up under your feet. They're, whoa! Anyway, he likes to climb on top of you. Anyway, that's ghost. We see him around the farm every now and then. He uh, he's supposed to go out and stay with the sheep and or the goats or whatever, but which he does and he doesn't bother any of them. He lays down amongst the chickens and that. But he's he's he uh, he's more of a sook dog. All right, that's a bit of a quick rundown of what I have at the present moment. It does change a bit, uh, depending on my whim. Anyway, look, 
I only do this because I like to do it. Um, without you, there is no me, so please like me. Please subscribe to me and ring that notification bell. But not only that, can you put it out there? Share me to your friends. To, and even if it's a joke, just to have a bit of fun with them. Do it. I, I don't mind. Catch you later.